What is up guys, this is JG Anjute of the Droid Syndicate team bringing you a review video of the Syndicate ROM on the Sprint Galaxy S3. Now this is a Android 4.0.4 based ROM that is built up from TouchWiz and it's actually a very nice ROM. I'm very impressed. It actually makes me like TouchWiz a lot more. It is super fast. You won't even know that TouchWiz is actually there. Um, slowing it down. It actually seems faster than your stock TouchWiz. It's just really fast. I can't explain to you how fast it is. The colors are vibrant. The wallpaper that comes with it is very nice. And yeah, overall a great ROM so far. Now it does come with Awesome Beats, which is sort of like Beats Audio, I guess. So if you go ahead and open that up, you can see that you have a Jelly Bean animation. So this is Jelly Bean Animations. That is pretty cool. Now, you can actually enable the Awesome Beat, so it's not always going to be enabled. But if we do enable that, we'll have um, pretty much all these options down here. So we can select a Beats preset, we can enable the Equalizer, we can do lots of stuff, and that's just really cool for you uh, audiophiles out there that just like to listen to music and stuff like that. And other things that come with this ROM is on the next page. It comes with Super User and CPU Sleep. Now CPU Sleep, I have no idea what this does, but I don't know, if you can tell me in the comment section below, it's probably going to make the CPU sleep to give you better battery life, I'm not sure. That's just a newbie guess, I'm not that much of a CPU guy. But yeah, you get super user to obtain root access, you got S voice, and looks like you did remove some Samsung apps, not all of them, but some. You can see that you still have S voice, Sprint Hotspot, S Memo, and of course internet. Sorry, I'm caught up in the jelly bean thing. I'm thinking that Chrome is gonna come with every single ROM now. So yeah. Uh, if you go into camera, see if there's any more options. SD card inserted, sure. I actually might activate my phone because of this ROM. This ROM is really great. Doesn't really look like you have any other options, just your stock Samsung camera application. But yeah, overall, it's a really cool ROM. This isn't really of a review. Um, what with Josh has actually been mentioning this in his videos, that a review is only after you use it for about a week. I don't really do reviews. I just show you sort of a first look so you can see what is actually sort of up and happening with the ROM. Now if you go into settings, go to about phone, you can see here that we got build number syndicate version 1.2 and we got baseband version L710 VPLF9 and Android version 4.0.4 of course right there and also um, let's go to do we have more options? Because sometimes they do give you more options in ROMs like this. Doesn't really look like it. it, just looks like a stock ROM with some minor tweaks. Now if you look in the notification bar, you can actually see that the battery indicator is now circular. And I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but it is sort of like a teal color. And it has little tiny dots surrounding it to show you the battery and it has a percentage in the middle. So that's pretty cool. But nothing really else, UI differences have not really changed. There's nothing noticeably different of the ROM besides it ex its extreme speed and pretty much everything else. It's just a really great touches ROM and I recommend it if you want to have the feeling of stock ice cream sandwich. It feels like jelly bean actually, it really does. And it's just an awesome touches ROM. I can't emphasize how fast this ROM is. It's just really speedy. So yeah, I'll have a ROM link into the description. I'll also have a how to install video link in the description. But yeah guys, thanks for watching this video. Remember, this is the Syndicate ROM for the Sprint Galaxy S3. So guys, thanks for watching and I will talk to you all later.